I'm making a special breakfast for Jeffrey. It's potato latkes with applesauce. Something from my childhood. My mother used to make them when I was little. Basically, two bacon potatoes that I've peeled. And I'm just grating them in the box grater. You can actually do it in a food processor on the grating disc, but for two potatoes, it's not worth making a mess. You don't want to do this too long in advance because the potatoes have turned brown. Not pretty. The big thing here is keep your fingers out of the grater. <laughs> Okay, so that's two potatoes. So I take a clean kitchen towel and just put the potatoes right inside and just roll the kitchen towel around it and then just squeeze it right over the sink so you get as much liquid out of it as you can possibly get. This is actually why baking potatoes are good for this. Any other potato has much more moisture in it. Baking potatoes tend to be a little dry. Okay, fantastic, right into the bowl. Okay, next I need one egg. Just beat it for a second. Right into the potatoes. Three tablespoons of flour. So it's really like making pancakes, but it has potato in it. Okay, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and just give it a big stir. Okay, ready to fry the pancakes. It's like time to make the donuts. So I'm just gonna heat up a big pan. You don't wanna crowd them because you want them to really fry nicely. And I've made some clarified butter, which is really helpful. It doesn't burn at a high temperature. Three tablespoons of clarified butter. Clarified butter is really important because the milk solids in butter are gonna burn and you don't want this to. So to make clarified butter, what you do is heat butter and just let it settle. The milk solids will come out to the bottom and then you pour off the clear golden liquid and that's clarified butter. Okay, clarified butter is nice and hot. It's got a tablespoon of pancake mix right in. For orders, I do little potato pancakes, but for this, I think I'm gonna do a heaping tablespoon for each one, just for Jeffrey and me. Who is he gonna be happy? So I think I'll get probably six out of this, which is perfect. Three for him, three for me. So I'm just gonna let them brown on one side for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna flip them over. Mmm, do these smell good? There's something wonderful about those crisp potato pancakes and that sort of creamy applesauce. Such a great combination. I think they smell like they're just about ready to, ooh, wait till you see this. Perfect. Absolute perfect potato pancake. Just check each one before you turn it over. Make sure it's just perfectly golden brown on the underside. Hi, babe. Hey, hey what you got? I'm making breakfast for us. You're making breakfast for me? <laughs> yeah. What do you I know, it really happens. What are you making? What are you making? <laughs> How about potato pancakes and applesauce? What a great combination. A very old-fashioned Eastern European Jewish. I'll tell you what. And you and I. And that's <laughs> old us. Old-fashioned <laughs> Eastern European juice. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's really and I think good. breakfast is served. Really good. Wow. Well, I hope you like them. Well, they look really good. I don't know. Your grandmother's a very good cook. I'm yep. worried they weren't as good as actually, hers now. Actually, these look better than <laughs> Actually, they really crisp. Mmm.